Corey is a plant. Corey was, you know, Puff Daddy, Nanny, Manny. You got what I'm saying? Then he was with Justin Bieber when Justin Bieber got in trouble. Baby, I know a lot of people have been catching strays and getting exposed with everything that's come out about Diddy so far. And one person who is probably sweating buckets now that Diddy's going down is allegedly Corey Gamble. It turns out he's the one that Justin Bieber out to Diddy. And when you think about it, what even is the true nature of Corey's job in Hollywood? No one ever knows where Corey Gamble came from. No one in the fashion world knows where Gabby came from. These people were practically made in a laboratory, in my opinion. Okay, Kanye West, what you know about your homeboy? Also, what does Kris Jenner have to do with Kim Porter? And why is she even being mentioned when it comes to Diddy? Chill, the plot just keeps thickening. And at this point, the whole Hollywood better lawyer up because it's looking bad for even the fixer uppers like Corey Gamble. Let's get right into business and break this down. So y'all see how Diddy was always taking up and coming artists like Usher under his wing? Well, one of the people he mentored other than Usher was Justin Bieber. Here's the thing, when Justin first started hanging out with Diddy, Diddy was around 40 and he was out there promising him a car when he turned 16 and a mansion when he turned 18. Wherever you wanna go, where are we going? <laughs> we just, so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose. However, somewhere down the line, Justin stopped hanging out with Diddy. And the assumption has always been that it was because Diddy essayed him. I mean, there's even footage of Justin being hella uncomfortable when Diddy questioned him about why he stopped hanging out with him. Different, huh? You, no, you, no. Ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's five, five. But where does Corey Gamble come in? So Corey was once Justin's tour manager, working under Justin Bieber's manager Scooter Braun. His Instagram feed between 2013 and 2014 is actually filled with shoutouts to Justin Bieber and behind-the-scenes images in the recording studio. Like he even called Justin Bieber his nephew a few times. Now the assumption is that. That other than handling Justin's tours, Corey was also organizing for Justin to be with the Hollywood execs, especially when Diddy needed Justin. Corey was the one who made him available. And when I say available, y'all know what I mean, right? Basically, Justin was being cassied by Diddy, just like how he cassied Usher. And we all know that Usher has been spilling about some of the things that he witnessed when he lived with Diddy. I'm not really. I Come mean, on. but did Hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried. Apparently, it was so bad that Usher himself said he, as a dad, would never take his kid to Diddy's flavor camp. Yeah, uh -huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell <don't> no. <laughs> see? Plus, Usher also revealed that he's saving a lot of the puffy flavor camp tea for a book that he's gonna write someday. Honey, do I really need to go into all the details of what possibly transpired between Usher and Diddy? I mean, look at Usher's reaction when Diddy was telling Kevin Hart about how they used to wake up together. Usher look like he fresh off a goddamn plane. Usher's fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and... I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented. <laughs> and do y'all remember when Diddy complimented Usher as being fly and mentioning Usher eating cereal in his kitchen? Yeah, they yours when you go see this for you. This ain't for nobody else but you. You take that time, boy. I see you. Fly ass are doing baby. You were in the kitchen. 
eating all my cereal. Man, you doing babies in a pink suit. God is the greatest. Allegedly, when Diddy could no longer control Usher, he had to find his next prey, Justin Bieber. And allegedly, his handler, Corey Gamble, who was Justin's tour manager, made it happen. Now, the reason why Diddy used Corey was because his other job in Hollywood is basically a fixer. Again, people have actually said for the longest time that they believe Corey is a handler who fixes the average day-to-day -day problems that famous people encounter, both publicly and privately, including issues that they don't want the general public to talk about. To some extent, I mean, even I have to admit that a lot of what people said actually makes sense. Cause I Googled Corey before and there really is no information besides him being an actor and a producer. The man is not an A-list actor, but he is also very close to A-list people. And it makes sense that they use him to fix their messes, especially the very shady and dangerous ones. Okay, something else that people have always asked themselves is why Chris and why so soon after her divorce? Well, when it comes to the Kardashian Jenners, there have been speculation that although Corey got linked up to them by dating Chris, he was being paid to take care of the family business, especially the dirty ones. In fact, a source spilled to page six saying, Corey's given a stipend to help look after his kids and make sure they're okay when they go out. He's essentially an employee. Chris keeps him around because he worship the ground she walks on. She also can't complain about what goes on behind closed doors and is super satisfied in that sense. Their arrangement has become more of a publicity stunt and a trade at this point. You know what? Maybe Kanye needs to tell us exactly what he knows about Corey. Cause if there's one person who has been on his radar and openly called BS on his life, it's him. Do y'all remember when Kanye wrote that very lengthy post about Corey saying, God has a plan to remove the godless Corey never needed to be here anyway. And I think he's a nice person, not a great person. He then proceeded to bring Diddy and Justin Bieber into the drama, claiming that Corey was a nice person who used to be around Diddy's family, then got around Justin Bieber. Then when Chris divorced, he slid in. Kanye also brought Kim into the mix, alleging that Corey told her what music she should be listening to. And as a result, Ye claimed he had Corey removed from his daughter's birthday party. Then he was like, we still never met his family and I guess we never will. He got my wife linked with the liberals in a deep way. That was his job. Um, okay. Other than that incident, in May of 2019, it was also revealed during an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians that Kanye had texted Corey asking why none of the Car Jenners had met his family. With Chloe even adding at the time, we tried to get to know him, but he has not been receptive in the whole thing. So why is it that the Car Jenners have never met Corey's family? What could he possibly be hiding that he doesn't want anybody to meet his family? Unless, of course, he's afraid of revealing his true identity or because he's handled some very serious, very dangerous Hollywood situations and he doesn't want to expose his real family. Also, did anyone else notice that Corey always got so agitated, irritated, uncomfortable, and ultimately dismissive when anybody on Keeping up with the Kardashians, asked him about his personal life. And even after he publicly fought with Chloe and Kendall, they both told Chris about it. And Chris didn't really seem to care. To a lot of people, that only proved that Chris hired him to be a handler. And she was not gonna get rid of him because he had a little fight with her daughters. Or maybe, just maybe, Corey is CIA, like Kanye's been insinuating. That's not some paranoid shit. Yes, Corey CIA. Like, he didn't even have to say it. I know it. As for where Chris fits in this entire situation with Diddy and Corey, there have also been some speculations before that Corey was hired to be close to the Car Jenners, probably from Diddy's camp. In fact, a lot of people believe that Chris was able to get so many deals and brands working with the family, not only because of Kanye West, but because of Diddy. And since Corey was working for Diddy, it would make sense that he was the one who was sent to keep an eye on the Car Jenners. And let me not even 
even begin with the allegations that Diddy and Chris used to have a thing. Could it be possible that the thing that people are talking about took place when Diddy was with Kim? I mean, that would solidify why Diddy wanted Corey closer to the car Jenners, so he could keep the whole situation under control. It's a lot to take in. Anyway, when it comes to Corey and his connection to Diddy, something else that has always raised eyebrows is that Corey was on the scene when they removed Kim Porter's body when she died. Like, what in the world was he doing on the scene? I get that Corey and Kim knew each other when Kim was alive, and Corey even posted about Kim, suggesting that they were good friends. But what was he doing on the scene when Kim's body was being removed? Did Diddy need something handled when the body was being moved? Child, I definitely know. He needed a few things handled. But whether or not Corey was the one who handled it is still a mystery. And if Corey really handled things for Diddy, that would mean that Chris probably knows a little too much about what happened to Kim and what goes on with Diddy. Does any of this make sense to y'all? Do you think Corey Justin out to Diddy? Does he give you undercover vibes? And what exactly do you think Chris knows about this whole Diddy situation? Sound off and let me know in the comments down below.